one you can check up like this this hand up until here another hand maybe until below 90 degree only until this side until this side okay and the leg try to up until here okay and this thing cannot this thing can up here and this thing cannot before you do you check all the movement on the body structure then i want you to do one thing you take the this roller you can you can see the neck this side this side huh? let me i draw to you huh? this is a stroke nerve i think i think red color better because black color the hair also same color cannot see okay i teach you uh, this one uh i i draw draw two part for you all guys to massage for the after stroke patient uh, I... uh, you can see the red color dot i cannot see uh, maybe you can see uh. these two uh two red color dot is very important for the stroke because of due to this part the plate cannot flow over here this part is called blockage and here burst after burst that's why the stroke come up you can feel let's say the patient cannot move you try to move here here it's like wow very painful even i press here painful if no problem one uh, you press uh, you see very nice one very nice very nice you go to the patient the neck you just press hard like this you just like 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 stretch stretching you pull down oh, then you know you're marking on the uh, stroke patient point put over here so this is a marking then after that press this right muscle pain oh why reflexible good and try to move on the center ah here then here got the one bounding this side got one bounding whatever bounding this is called blockage or we call it a C, uh, C1 to C7 between C3 C4 compress and compress the nerve over here so you know this part the the patient you press here wow very painful oh pain pain, pain. The, the patient cannot talk pain, pain, pain. press here no so what you do I want you to get a roller and roll and roll or roll or the guasa board means uh, the 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 bot and quasa quasa over here and put some ointment quasa and quasa until the red color until here red you can see one big knob red color become black but until here black knob until black black knob over here you try to use a spoon also can spoon you know the spoon you put some ointment ointment over and try to quasa we call it wrapping quasa and quasa and quasa and quasa and quasa so until the red red star and red dot come up, up, up you can see one is bounding whatever the bounding that one is called cobbler you do a few more time you do a few more time after that you try to press back to the patient press you can see then the patient no 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 more sharp no more pain he smile he smile like this that should be okay then after that you do on this side also after done ready i want you to do on the patient neck don't 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 many patient after that like this uh. I want you to the patient cannot move uh. just imagine here is a bit uh. then you do quasa here 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 and try to push the net on the one side and and try to support on one side like this for how long pressing and pressing for the stroke patient more than one year's one uh. go too hard uh. until you can feel the tense the tense over here for how long you do it about one or two minutes means about 60 seconds 60 seconds or 100 seconds like this and try to push over this side okay push on the one and left right this one to open up the tunnel the tunnel on the neck to let the blood circulation over here especially the stroke nerve on the neck SCM muscle behind all right so this one done ready then after you press back again ah you can feel very soft oh, oh very soft and the center part also very soft then after that i want you to check on the uh, check on the patient means a, a stroke patient more than one year ready then you check that this hand up ah, so high no problem this hand no problem because of here affect this hand so you should be have like this after you do massage on this part this is a 
after you massage on the neck this part and then uh, this one 60 seconds 60 seconds uh, do two times like this and then quasa 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 then after that you check back no need to do anything no need to do any physio first you check back on it then you check back on this hand and the person the hand feel more lighter and feel more flexible and can, not like this ah. can at least can more lighter and more flexible and more higher and the check back the leg you try to lift up the this leg until you just now this leg cannot lift up then after you lift up he, he no 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 shocking and no pain less pain because why you open up the signal to your whole body because why a lot of people of the stroke is due to the brain damage on one side affect the another side no more signal so what we do is called like a signal connection uh, we call it signal connection so because of the the, the fire wall like anti-virus the fire block blocking and cannot get the signal so you take up the wall on it so the signal slowly combine whatever combine then you ask the patient do the exercise so what exercise you do what exercise you do you at the home to teach back uh, to the patients uh, the stroke patient are uh, more than one year just now that one is a pre-stroke so this one is a stroke already the, what should you do? You have to do a lot of, uh, uh, especially a uh, stroke patient due to this side affect this side. So this side no problem, up here no problem, and this side up like this pain, and then up like this. The first thing you have to open up the finger, because why the finger always like this? If you ever stroke more than uh, two years or three years, uh, then it become like this. Uh. They call it the nerve and the muscle and uh, the tendon all strange really, it's strange really. If you do like this, uh, I cannot do anything because of what? or condemn ready so what you do have to loosen up all the finger or shut hand like this and pull and you do this easier to loosen up the muscle the second one is the up the wrist and relax back the wrist for the patient and the third one slowly and slowly and the last one for the shoulder this is a bit painful you have to check whether you got the shoulder drop or dislocation before or not so slowly up until which part until here no pain then slightly higher until pain then you slowly rotate left and rotate right to loosen up all the joint part in the muscle okay if you go like this after that you have to do a lot of exercise for the patients for stroke patient then for the legs then you have to lift up lift up sleep and lift up and ask the person strength down up and strength down or drop first then you how strong the then ask the person to kick out kick out if possible, to ask the stroke patient, especially uh, uh, at home, he can move a little bit. Let's say he can recover, recover, and he want to speed up the, the, the exercise at home, you do physio. You can uh, put a, uh, because the lift up the hand very difficult, you can put a string to the door and put the weight of this side. So he hanging the, carry up the string to the door, whatever, he will lift up he will lift up your hand like this then ask the patient to try to pull down slowly pull down then after pull down your automatic up first pull out the up pull down up to exercise exercise back and build up back the the muscle of the patient all right and also the leg you can uh, ask the patient try to lift up lift up like this and slowly kick and this leg this hand uh, no strength, uh, this leg no strength, uh, this leg uh, pull up like this and slowly ask him to kick, kick up and impact and slowly kick and impact and slowly kick or the best way to invest to what you call the bicycle at home the indoor bicycle so you know the indoor bicycle uh, the indoor bicycle, the sitting cannot move one or not, the go to the market one uh, at home one, the RPM we call it then you do a lot of cycling for the stroke patient more than one year. So because why? You are using the, the good leg to strengthen back and move cycling to let the knee joint and the hip joint to, to exercise back the cartilage and muscle to strengthen back the muscle for the stroke patient more than one year. All right. So this is the exercise after that. Then you have to like check back again over here. Wow, no pain already. Whatever the, the back head of the signal to the whole body, feel better and no pain. Then the signal to the hand and leg should be better. And this is a few of the technique. And do kwasa, 
and do max stretching formlessly. Push all the way to one side, let the, uh, let the blood circulation flow back on the uh, left and right for how long? 60 seconds. And left side, 60 seconds. Then you test back all the movement and try to do it every day. Until the patient feel good and got the strength, then after ask him to use back the what I call the four leg, uh, the stand to slowly walk to build up back the strength. Good. Very good. Ah, uh, want me to speak in Cantonese? Ah, my Cantonese then my finger all chop chop. So thank you very much, everyone. I'm Chris Leo. So thank you for watching, and hope you guys uh, uh take care of the people's the uh, elderly people if uh, anything called FAST fast uh, the face the fast four sentence is called the symptom of the the stroke FAST face fracture one side numbness no no strength A arm cannot move very frequent or feel heavy S the speech cannot speak that that that, that my knee is right then the T is fine send it to the what so you got a symptom for the, the the symptom of the stroke before they are they are attacked by stroke Always look the face texture, one side, and the arm, one side is very heavy and cannot control, and leaning one side, walking on leaning one side, and whole body is leaning one side, this is a symptom, and the third one, as him to say his name, my name is Chris Leung, my name is Chris Leung, if other speech cannot, then faster have to call to the ambulance, or call for 911, or call for uh, the nearest uh, hospital to send before that you send you can do the diy take up all the blood from uh, using the needle put one two three four and ten finger before you poke you have to stimulate with a fire fire to the needles or using the pin or uh, using any pin to put all one two three four and five finger tip toes okay so this one will be loosen up all the air pressure in the body and the person will be before to the hospital and this got the DIY for him not overshoot the high blood pressure. Alright, thank you very much.